we're testing roof mounted domes with four cellular antennas inside of them for 4x4 MIMO or two modems operating at once. Stay tuned for some of the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here today to talk a little bit about antennas that you might put on the roof of an RV or a boat or a van or anything else. And now some of the trade-offs and complications you might make with antennas. In particular, well, how many of them are you going to need and want and have? Now, if you think about cellular devices, almost all LTE devices have support for two um, uh, cellular antennas as inputs, and that lets them operate in MIMO mode using two ears to connect and double your speeds and get much better signal and everything else. And so when you're using uh, cellular antennas, having two antennas on the roof makes a huge difference. And we've talked about this many times in the past. We've got a whole video explaining the advantages of MIMO and why two antennas often beats one. But now there are starting to be cellular devices that have support for four antennas at once. This is taking it to a, another higher level. So it can either be four antennas working together as if you had four ears on your head. That's called 4x4 MIMO, and you're actually being able to pull down four signals simultaneously over the same chunk of frequency and sometimes go into a quadruple speed mode. That is still very, very rare for supporting 4x4 MIMO with external antennas yet, but it'll probably be becoming more, more and more common. But also we're seeing devices like this Max Transit Duo from Pepwave that supports, has two integrated cellular modems. So two modems with two antennas each can be connected at once. That means you need four antennas total, but you can have a two carriers operating at the same time. So AT&T and Verizon or Verizon and T-Mobile or whatnot, or you know, two of the same carrier, um, doubling your performance and increasing your reliability, all these other things by having two modems going at once. But well, there's no real simple and practical way to switch between antennas. You need to have four antennas on the roof. Tricky to do. Now, simple way to do it is you know, things like these little mag mount antennas. These are um, the uh, WeBoost simple stubby mag mounts. They work really, really well, but they're kind of awkward. And you'd have crusted, these encrusted around, spaced around your roof, magnetically mounted, short wires uh, awkwardly routed around. Sometimes it's a lot simpler, more elegant just to build in a dome that is dedicated to, to the purpose. And we've got a few that we're testing right now, provided to us by Mobile Must Have, who also provided us this Max Transit Duo. Um, these are really great antennas that complement um, a device that does 4x4 MIMO or that has dual modems with two antennas each. So first one here, this is a mobile mark. This one's actually a 9-in-1 antenna, so it's got... Um, this is their, their, I guess, Mobile Mark's flagship. It's got four cellular antennas inside here, two MIMO pairs designed to work together. And then it also has four Wi-Fi antennas and a GPS receiver. Um, this also is available to be ordered with all sorts of different configurations of however many antennas you want. So very few people will need four Wi-Fi antennas on the roof. You might not need any. You might want four cellular and just the GPS, which would pair very nicely with a device like the Max Transit Duo. Or four cellular and two Wi-Fi and GPS, which will also work with this as well. Um, so lots of different flexibilities. In this pretty small, very, very low profile plastic dome, you have to drill a pretty big hole in your roof to mount this and then a screw bolts down and you'll then use a uh, extension cable or you can order these with custom length cables already set up to get this to where your modem is shorter cables better so this is a very elegant solution for the uh, roof of an rv doesn't not obtrusive at all. Yeah, so we've actually been using the uh, an earlier version of the Mobile Mark. A Mobile Mark 4-in-1 has been our primary antenna on our bus for years, and we've been very impressed by this antenna. It's a good all-around, um, you know, works well in cities, works well in rural. It's a good all-around balanced antenna. It's not necessarily the, the super high gain. You wanted this in the most remote places type of antenna, but a great balance in a very small, elegant package. Um, so we've been impressed with the mobile mark over the years. Uh, another antenna that's a, another well-known quality brand. This is Pointing. This is a Pointing 7-in-1, which, which Mobile Must Have has been recommending as a great complement for the uh, Max Transit, as it is a fairly affordable antenna. It's very flexible. comes with the, the ex perfectly matched uh, seven um, antenna cables for uh, two, um, two different 
uh, Wi-Fi antennas, the two different cellular antennas, so each one a MIMO setup, and a GPS antenna, so it's the perfect set to plug into the seven antenna ports on a Max Transit. And uh, this has got a very, very flexible design. You'll see it's a lot physically bigger than the Mobile Mark, quite a bit of a more, on a more bulk on your roof, but it's still really small and elegant, shark fin here shape. And the way it is set up on the bottom is the same size hole, same size mounting system goes through. But this also has a flexible base that can also be reconfigured to have the wire route out the back. So you can have, um, if you don't want to go down through a hole and you want to run through a wire chase, very, very flexible with the same antenna without a special order configuration to route it out the back. And these holes here are to attach magnets and you can actually set up a magnetic mount kit. So this will mount um, securely just by magnetic force onto a roof as well if you want to mount like that and not through the clamping on the hole. So a very flexible antenna design. Um, this one, uh, the pointing theoretically does not need a ground plane. It is uh, independent of needing a metal roof underneath it. The mobile mark is designed and spec to be on top of a metal surface. So if you're putting this on a fiberglass roof or something like that, a rubber roof, you'll want to put a metal um, flat metal sheeting going out around this to give it a ground plane for better signal. So these are the two antennas we're putting these head to head and uh, comparing, trying to find their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so far they both seem to be quality antennas, but they do have some differences in performance and we're trying to uh, go deeper and we'll be sharing this in our member areas, our, our analysis of, of these two options, um, but they are both available from a mobile must have and um, we'll be uh, going, spending quite a bit of time uh, putting these on our, our, our van and taking them to exotic places, hopefully. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.